front of line, like say in a situation where with say a Crosby and a Kessel, just for instance, um, do you think when, when you're the third guy with those two, do you, does it have to change the way you play at all? Well, I'm, I'm going to talk to him for myself. Like, okay. I, my game's not going to change. If I play in the first, second, third, or fourth line, I, I know one way to play. And uh, obviously, if you're with somebody, if, if you bring whatever you can bring, well, it, it's going to help them. So you got to be fi feeling comfortable in, in your role. And you, as a 36-year-old, I kind of know what my game should look like. Mm -hmm. They should know as well, the team, the management. So if, uh, if I bring what I can, uh, doesn't matter where you play. You just got to bring it. The reason I ask is there's sort of like a perception that when you get two, you know, big all-star guys on a line, that the third guy has to do the dirty work, be the <laughs> defensively responsible one, dig out the. Oh, it doesn't matter court. what line I'll play on. I'll 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 do that dirty work. So it's uh, it, it's a gimme for me. So it's not. I can't change my game anyway. So I'll uh, I'll get in trouble if I do. Is there an internal competition to have one of those spots? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, that's what makes great teams. You know, you uh, you battle for ice time. You battle for for line for positioning. Uh, you, you battle for power play for PK. It's uh, you know what? That's what makes great teams. It's uh, the internal battles that are are going to make everybody better. Pascal, the next thing on your to-do list is to play in a game. How, <laughs> how eager are you to get out there in game? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time now. So uh, probably not going to be in the first one, but we'll see. Uh, really eager to get back there to uh, to, to get in this situation where uh, I feel comfortable again playing games probably not going to be in the first second or third but we'll see eventually I'll, uh, I'll start feeling good out there is that the thing the comfort level of actually the speed of the game that you, you, you've been away from that you need to see yeah I've been, I've been away from it but I said it earlier I'm uh, starting camp on time starting with everybody else I did uh, did what I had to do uh, conditioning wise uh, during the summer uh, Right now, I'm like I said, I'm starting at the same place as everybody. So it's not like I'm coming back middle of the season. I have to catch up to to the pace or the speed of the game. Now I, uh, I just got to start on time and make sure that I'm uh, I'm ready whenever it starts. <laughs> well, getting hit, okay. Uh, hit by a puck, I don't know. Like, oh, if I could pick up part of my body where I want to get hit with it maybe not in the face uh, that, that'd be a good thing but no it's just definitely you know you that, that's what we do that we play hockey you, you get hit you block shots you, you you pay the price you put your body on the line but it's uh, it's something that that definitely I'm, uh, I'm eager to see how the uh, the body's going to react to it yeah yeah definitely nothing different I've been doing it for Three and a half months now, so it's nothing. Uh, it's nothing new. I just gotta, just gotta manage the schedule a little bit. Uh, think ahead a bit. Look at the calendar. See a little bit when, when injections are gonna, are gonna take part. So it's, uh, it's more on my side than uh, when I get to the rink. It's, it's prior to, and it's, uh, I, I got a good handle on it. So it shouldn't be an issue.